stage behind. We should also have we should also have a, a, a deeper conversation of what a, a smart village would look like. Right? How would it look? Like? Because if you look, in, I, I had uh, my good doctor here talking about uh, creating a corridor from uh, uh, protecting Musina, Makado, all the way, right? Whereby a lot of things will be happening. Now, as we talk about that, I think we need to have a proper conversation because uh, it, it will touch uh, on the lives of the rural people. And uh, yes, how are we going to, to, to include them? How are we going to, 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 to enable them to take advantage of the uh, 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 digital space? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, we, we have heard that uh, the smart city concept talks about uh, taking advantage of technology to improve uh, service delivery. It talks about um, uh, adoption of technology which will lead to increased competitiveness and improved, which is very beautiful, right? It's very beautiful, but as we talk about this, we need to be very careful, we need to Yes, the, the project is really going to make a huge uh, impact in terms of regional integration, in terms of economic development. But how are we going to include the, the villages? How are we going to make the villages take advantage? Yes, some of them may not all be employed at the, uh, at the uh, special economic zone, but we need them to take advantage, we need them to benefit from that. We may only be very proud, we may only the very uh, uh, conduit said, yes, we have a smart village. When the ladies at Chakuma are taking advantage of the smart city concept to in taking in their day to day lives, selling their, 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 their food, there is quite a lot already that is already going on in terms of uh, uh, the, uh, the, the adoption of smart village, the smart city. If you look at, for instance, in deep rural areas, we have a, a very good example of um, uh, farmers in Nwanezi. They are doing beautiful things, but we need them to be on board. Yes, but I, I think, uh, uh, yes, those are philo philosophical underpinnings of uh, uh, smart uh, 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 cities. But can we, how do we uh, uh, in, uh, in, impose them on, on, on the uh, smart village, to create smart villages? Perhaps it is only a, 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 a easier if you understand what is an African village, what is a village, how, what are the subsystems, what are the subcomponents that makes a village tick? Why? Because we don't, I don't, I, we need to be very careful so that we don't uh, uh, disrupt the village life. There are very beautiful things within the village life. They are very, especially when talking about uh, governance systems in the villages. When you talk about the, 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 the planning. Villages, even before we have these so, uh, so called modern cities, um, if you read the, 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 the writing by the so called fathers of uh, town planning, Gedes and um, uh, Tibe and Howard, they talk about the need to ensure that a, a place, a, a space, the sub components within the space function in a, a, a together for the well being of the Village, right? Uh, maybe let's look into uh, uh, into 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 what a, 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 a smart village is. I don't want to bother you much about uh, the characteristics of a smart city because uh, the good professor has already talked about it. Maybe if you could look into the, 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 what is an African village. Now the question is, how do we transpose those concepts into an African village? Before we do that, I think we need to understand what is an African village, right? An African village is characterized by a shared space that is communally all used and protected. How do we use the concepts of uh, smart city to improve that, right? Yes. An African village is also a very complex character by the complex and interwoven economic, environmental, social, political subsystems, which we should be very careful that as we adopt 
this smart city concept, it responds to the needs of those uh, uh, people. Someone who asked, asked as to how as we are planning it, I think no one has an answer yet, but I think these are things we need to be worried about. What kind of energy systems should we provide them, should we promote so that they 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 they, 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 they say yes, we are living in a smart village. Perhaps uh, we need to talk about sustainable energy systems so that we protect the environment, right? Uh, it is also characterized by uh, uh, the, the, the kind of governance that has been tried and tested, that has governed the, the, the African village, whether in South Africa or over there, they are very intricate democratic system to govern uh, the, 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 the village uh, the, uh, structure. How do we infuse the smart city or smart, uh, how do we use a technology? Fourth, fourth Industrial uh, Revolution ideas into that to improve their work. If we do that, we can easily say that yes, we are taking them along. Because I'm, I, I'm sure I all know about the, uh, the, 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 the idea that all our African presidents, most of them, even our president uh, Ramaphosa, is always talking about the need not to leave anyone behind. Right? Now, another issue that we may need to, 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 to look into is which is critical about an African village, their economic system, right? Yes, there will be something beautiful that will be taking place at the, at the, 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 the complex, but we need something that is also taking place, maybe as part of, of their social corporate responsibility, to look into what they are already doing. How do we improve their the, 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 the day to day system? Um, unfortunately, I don't have control of my slides, but uh, these are some of the conversations that we need to, to, to take care of. I am a, a disciple of uh, a rural development. Yes, we have these beautiful ideas, but as long as the majority of the population in the villages, as long as, if we reach that extent whereby they, even those who are selling curio or, or, or things, those who are selling vegetables, what can we do? How can we harness technology? to ensure that their business is, 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 is really uh, have a smart on their face. Now, I talked already about the governance uh, uh, of the rural area, which is based on collective responsibility and collective uh, decision-making process. We need to ensure that the, 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 the information and technology is also being harnessed in those areas, in those spaces, right? Now, Yes, those are some of the critical pillars of an African village. Whereby, if you look at a, in, in town, you talk of a, a house, but in the village, you talk of a home. A home that is used for production and reproduction systems. A home not only for the but for the village members. It identifies how can we use uh, IT to improve the homeless. How can we improve? We look at the village, the, 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 the village, the, the fields in the village, where various economic activities take place. How can we uh, use uh, uh, ICT? How can we use that to improve those activities? No one may have answers now, but I guess uh, we can have some uh, conversation to say how can we? Because we cannot make a decision here. We may not have the. the, the Answers. We need to engage them. That's why uh, the university is talking about the engaged, engaged university, whereby we really pride ourselves in, uh, in talking to the villagers, hearing their answers, hearing their concerns, so that we, we infuse those into what is happening so that we don't leave them behind. Now, in the, in the villages, the issue of communication is also key. There are various intricate communication channels and systems for various purposes, which I guess we also need, just like what we do in what we are proposing in the cities, we need to find a way to, to, to transfigure, to transform the communication system in the village because it gives them a purpose. Even how they use their times, we need to, 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 to look at it closely. And now when you look at a village, look at those pictures. Some of them may think that those people are just dancing, 
right, around it, but it's not just dancing. It's, it's, it's very complex, it's very complicated. There's a various communications taking place there. There are various messages being communicated there, which has been tried and tested. How can we take advantage of it? You see those ghosts there. It's not just those, but the various animals in the villages. They form a very important component of the, the village life, which we need to take advantage. We need to, 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 to locate the, 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 the ICT. We need to locate how they can also equally benefit from the, the, the uh, uh, special economic zone uh, activities. Now, I say I don't have answers. I don't think anyone here may claim to have answers. But for us to find answers, for us to properly locate this village so that it will not be left behind by uh, the, the trade of special economic zone activities, those are some of the conversations that we need to engage in. How can the philosophy of the technologically driven space that connects everything? Because remember, the space in the village is different from the space in the urban area. So we need to fight to, 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 to properly uh, diagnose how can we harness technology, technology that, that responds to the uh, uh, spaces in the, in the village so that they function efficiently for them to have improved uh, uh, social and economic life. In what configurations can be applied into the village uh, openness to empower communities to embed technology, technological innovation and partnership in their daily lives? What should be put in place to reduce unhealth competition but increase vibrant citizenship and their engagement in the uh, 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 village life? So then to remember, some, sometimes they may not all want to become part and parcel of the smart city. They, really want, they may want to maintain their villages because that's what defines us as Africans. So we need to, to, to properly uh, uh, find answers to that. We, we, we don't have those, uh, we may not have those answers here, but we need to go out to them and engage them. So that is, we plan like uh, uh, another uh, 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 previous question I asked to say, what could be that? Those are, maybe those are some of the conversations we need to engage in and find answers that would then uh, uh, ensure that uh, uh, our smart city resonates very well with the village uh, uh, activities so that we also have smart villages. How can smart villages be configured to enhance inter-operability uh, uh, of the village systems and connectivity and security? Uh, to what extent is the academia willing and keen to genuinely engage and listen to these people? Yes, time may not be on our side, but I think we need to engage. We need to listen to them. We need to understand their concerns. We need to take time. Because the concept of a smart city, even wherever it is now, if you look closely, if you, those who did town planning, I did town planning, as well, uh, Patrick get this. When he talked, uh, and Howard, when they talked about the, 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 the garden city of tomorrow, it was in the 1902 or somewhere there. But gradually the idea, the conversation has been taking place. So perhaps we need not to be worried much, we need to take time although not being left behind by opportunities, but we need to find a way of including them. Now, at the end of the day, we need to answer that question, which was also equally asked by uh, one of the uh, 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 professors, whose reality count? As we are talking about smart cities, and we try to drive that concept into the village uh, sector, whose reality count? We need to engage them, we need to hear them. We may not have answers about that, but we need to hear them so that we hear the area, so their reality resonates very well with the, the uh, national and global uh, realities. Yeah. Uh, and of course, how can village uh, communities be empowered to pick it? We know this concept is a must. It's, it's already going, the train is already moving. How can they uh, be taken along? Um, those are some of the conversations which I think need to, and of course, the energy part, we don't need to leave it behind. The environmental part, we don't need to leave it behind. 
the, 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 the education part, we don't need to leave it behind. So as a result, perhaps we have proper answers to implement this smart city uh, 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 transport, it also be smart village. I think um, if we have these answers, we engage in these conversations, we'll be ready to improve the lives of the, 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 village, the villagers so that they can stand proudly to say we are part and parcel of the Africa we want, where technology is uh, enabling things to become better, where we can easily achieve the national uh, vision 2030, where we can easily achieve the SDGs in which the villagers are taken along. I think uh, uh, these are um, my, my conversations. I didn't come here with answers yet, but I had questions because this is part and parcel of us at Academia to raise questions, to raise issues, and for us as part of the Institute for Rural Development, it is our duty to talk on behalf of the rural people so that they won't be left behind. Yes, this is a very beautiful uh, uh, movement that is going on, and this is the most welcome development, the, the, the MSEZ. But we are saying, let's have the rural people in this place. Let's include them. But for us to include them, let's have answers, let's engage them. And uh, uh, I think maybe we may some of the answers may come from some of the people here in the, in the, in the, in the audience, but by and large, this is uh, my presentation, this is my talk. I hope uh, I have uh, left my mind because I will be very close. I was there when the Africa we won was talked about. I was there, I talked also on behalf of the Asia. Thank you so much.